corporate campaign manual uh, which was prepared by the Service Employees International Union. And this manual is the actual script that they follow um, chapter by chapter to carry out a corporate campaign. And it talks about regulatory pressure, it talks about legal pressure, it talks about the tactics that the campaign is going to um, embody um, in terms of trying to extort the company, in our case our company, into uh, capitulating to their demands. Now the motivation behind this is, is, is quite clear. Is If they could force the biggest company in Sacramento to uh, unionize without a secret ballot election um, through these tactics, then the other companies in, the, in town would be watching what was happening and uh, once they were successful uh, in organizing our company, then they would go to the second largest company, do the same thing, and then to the third largest and down the line and until presto they've organized the entire industry without a secret ballot election. So we decided uh, that we would take a pro-employee right to vote stance because our employees again were paying, already being paid higher than union wage and they didn't have to pay the, the union dues uh, that the union was seeking as part of this unionization effort. So the, the campaign started uh, to go full bore um, and we received numerous charges with the National Labor Relations Board. Uh, we received a um, uh, lawsuit filed um, that they found an employee that was cooperative with them who filed a sexual harassment lawsuit. We um, saw that they had gotten um, a couple other employees to file a class action lawsuit for wage and, and hour violations. And, and so all these charges then were used in this public relations uh, campaign where they would put together flyers, which are, again is included in one of the chapters of, of their manual. And these flyers were uh, distributed uh, at the campuses of our, our major clients. And, some of our major clients that they, they targeted were uh, nationally recognized computer manufacturers that uh, uh, relied very heavily on their name brand and, and name recognition. Um, and so they were very concerned about um, these union organizers showing up at their campuses with these flyers about how the, their company used a contractor who was, you know, to, charged with all these violations that were never proven, but the, the flyers looked um, pretty legitimate because they had official charge numbers and, and uh, lawsuit case numbers, and, um, and uh, it became very intimidating for, for our customers. And uh, the strategy was to target the, our major customers because they knew if we were to lose those customers that, uh, that we would stand a pretty strong chance of going bankrupt and um, that they knew that uh, that would probably force us to uh, capitulate to their demands. Fortunately, because we had a copy of their corporate campaign manual, uh, we were able to meet with a lot of our customers, including you know, the state of California owned buildings and, and other buildings. Um, and we were able to explain what this was all about and that it was a corporate campaign strategy and, and that we had the exact tactics already codified in writing and that uh, we were just being subject to a uh, campaign that uh, was being carried out by paid organizers. So fortunately we were able to um, uh, explain exactly what was happening and our stance about um, being a pro-employee's right to vote I think voted well for the company in that people were a little confused as we were um, about why a union wouldn't let employees vote. The standard mantra for the SEIU is that uh, employees can't vote because they're intimidated by management and uh, there's intimidation in the workforce and our response to that was well that's the case when employees get behind a, a curtain and they have the right to vote in secrecy then if they're intimidated by the management they're going to vote against the management and they're going to join a union so that argument uh, that they were intimidated didn't work well um, in, in public and our call for um, a secret ballot election 
I think uh, helped us tremendously in, in fighting the campaign. The most unusual uh, part of the campaign in, in our case was that in addition to the NLRB charges and the lawsuits and the legal and regulatory pressure, all of a sudden, out of the blue, we saw uh, some regulatory action being taken by the Department of Labor, the United States Department of Labor under, under Secretary Robert Reich.